Hi there, welcome to the Beetle Garage about uh, Phalacognatus Mulleri, the famous uh, Australian uh, stack beetle, rainbow stack beetle. Here I've written Mulleri Luxury Box, 18th of January. It was prepared, now I already removed 4L2 stage larvae around uh, m uh, five weeks ago. So now it's time to go back to this box and have a, a look what we can find. Uh, here. Also, I have already prepared something. If I find some larvae, here is Kinchi with Pleurotus cornucopiae. This uh, very nice edible mushroom here. That's something for dinner tonight, isn't it? Oh, I hear something. Okay, look how nice it is. And also, it's uh, compacted uh, very good, so you can just uh, make some holes and put the lorries in here. Or if they are big, you can present them one of these beautiful Swiss kimchi bottles. You will find the uh, instructional if you want to know how they are made. Just uh, look for kimchi, how to make kimchi bottles or kimchi, how it's made. Yeah, that's nice. It smells like watermelon. That's special about this mushroom. He has a very sweet smell of watermelon. It's incredible. So, okay. So we prepared. Okay, we find a larvae here. And we can decide on the go where we would like to put them. But first, because I said it's a luxury box, I think I said it because, oh, what's that, oh, this is a part of a female, I said this because I, I presented them a real big chunk of oak wood and this one should be the place when everything is okay where they also laid their eggs. And I think we could primarily go through this block and see what we find here. Yeah. I already see one very small one here. So seems to be some some fresh uh, traces of digging of the female in here. So what do I do with this small one? I think this one. I'm just for the small ones so that you can see it also. I just press some holes into this kimchi and I will present them this kimchi here until they are a little bit bigger so that I can put around six of them in here. Of course when they are so small we have to be extremely careful not to hurt them. Well, it seems that the whole block is completely shredded. Oh, that's it. One here. Then of course some of the original material here. Yeah, it's completely softened. Just fill it here with this material. So right, another one here. They are small, they're, they are only L1 now. Look here. So probably if I don't see bigger ones now, I will leave them and I don't, I will not uh, disturb them anymore. Because they are not, they're too small to take them out now. So let's see whether we find in this piece some bigger larvae. I know here's also an L1. Look at this here. So I'm 
Now we have three of them. If they are not getting bigger now, while searching through this block, we will have to wait. Otherwise, there's a risk of of killing them. And now look, here's a bigger one. So there must be already. Um, so this is a L2 stage, so it's at least uh, three weeks away from the other small L1 stage larvae, so probably we will find some more big larvae in here. Now I prepared the kimchi bottle. This is the thing that you know already. You just remove the, the mushroom. Uh, mycelium on the top because this can rot and uh, it can uh, give toxic gases that the larvae don't like. So you must be sure that you come into the real good kimchi before you put in a larva. So I think this is now okay. And of course you can always Mix in some of them. And then you just put this larva on the top. You can, if you want, fill it up a little bit with more material on the top. And of course you have to close it, but it should have a small hole in the lid. So if it's a male, this is enough for the whole development of a Pretty big, nice male, Phalacrognotus mulleri. So now we have seen a, a big larva, let's go through it carefully here. Look, this is two. there's one here, one here. So these are looking a little bit bigger now than the first one that we found. This is a L2 stage. This is a L2. No, this is a very young L3. Look, this is just molted. This is very, very young L3. So, this one we present them as separate, separate boxes or kimchi bottles here so that they can develop well. I think this is a, looks like a, a, a nice uh, L3 larva because it has a pretty big head capsule so this must be a male larva I will present, I will put this lower in here with, of course, some of the original material that I found here. So, second one. This one, I think I put it in here too. So, with a little bit of the old substrate. So, we also already have four of them. And then, of course, we have to go through that substrate very carefully. Because now we know that there could be... Look here also. They're just hiding side here. There's a very small one, just fell out. L1, very young and small. So let's go back here to this. So it's filled with this. We have a lot of
completely Oh, there is another one. I have to pay attention that I don't harm them. If I put something heavy on them, like here. So you see, this is the hard wood, and this is the soft wood, and the soft wood is completely eaten. So. Here's another one. Oh yeah, this is already pretty big here. Yeah, very nice. So yeah, a lot of them look. So also for this one, we have a nice big bottle. And of course, I hope that they feel okay in these country bottles. I mean, it seems like a lot of work to do these bottles for just one of these beetles. But also, you have to say, this is such a beautiful and nice beetle that it's worth the work to do that. So we have this one. I want to go in here. Very nice. So also add some of the original material. And then on we go. So with the small ones here, this one I just put in here. And then the other small one here, this very, very little, I also put it here. So we have this box completed. And also you can cover it with some of the original material and also we have to make it wet because if mushrooms are growing from a box where you have lorries in it's a danger that it will dry out completely because the mushroom can suck out all the water from the substrate and then the substrate will, the kimchi material will become very very dry so now we need another bottle for this nice larva and now we already have 10 of them four we put in a big bottles and six in the box here so this work can go on for hours if you have a lot of beetles but remember this is the, the nicest of all the works we do while people breeding, going through this, through the wood blocks and looking for a lot of us. That's a really nice job. So this goes in here with some of the original material. So that's it for the moment. I think I have to work here for another half an hour but uh, probably you can't stay so long so let's shorten it up this way I uh, just see another very small L1 oh you see that so I think that I put it into this uh, to this box still here yeah oh very small they are so fragile, so probably it would be better to to wait here for another uh, month and then we go through the substrate again. Okay, thank you for watching.